High School, welcome back. We are in our third week, or our third time meeting, talking about different HESPA tips and strategies. Um, today, specifically, what we're going to talk about is area, and specifically in terms of circles. So a question that you might possibly see on the HESPA would read as, if a radius of a circle is tripled, then the area is A, B, C, or D. Now, first inclination, as soon as you hear the word tripled, we think three, all right? You want to try and get away from that um, assumption, that quick uh, idea to go right to answer A. Anytime that the HESPA gives you a question, we always need to use different examples. So, first thing that comes to mind with area of a circle, you can either look at your formula sheet if you do not know it, but area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Now, the easiest number to work with is always one or two, so let's start with one. All right, so if I have a radius of one, I merely would substitute in my radius of one. I have my area of my circle as pi times one squared. One squared is one times pi is just pi. Now it said if the radius of a circle is tripled, well if I triple the radius of 1, I'm merely multiplying it by a factor of 3. So let's look what happens when I have a radius of 3. So my area of my circle now becomes pi times 3 squared. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, I have 9 pi. So now we need to figure out how many times larger this area is than this area. Well the easiest way to figure out how many times larger something is, is we divide. 9 pi divided by pi. And if you use your calculator or just based on intuition, the pi's would cancel that and we'd be left with 9. So therefore, our answer would be b, multiplied by 9. If the radius of a circle is tripled, then the area is multiplied by 9. Enjoy.